Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on Emergency Response Liberty County. In today's video we're going to be reviewing the latest update of our favorite game. After a long wait over 27 hours, the game has finally updated and it is packed with some new features and improvements. So let's get straight towards it. So first up is our new weapon system. The developers have completely overhauled it with for a more realistic and functional experience. Plus, most of the gun models have been remade with more updates on the way. And honestly, I think this looks like a pretty cool system. Um, for example, if we go right here and we start shooting, it just looks different. Also, it has a little UI at the bottom right corner and it actually it feels like jailbreak it feels like jailbreak mechanics or like phantom forces if you guys know what those games are the phone has also been remade from the ground up you'll notice new apps like the house and mafia and there's a new store called gadget shack we can look forward to purchasing different phones and models from this store in the near future Several vehicles received updates with the original designs for both civilian and law teams. Falcon Stallion 350 has gotten an upgrade, and honestly, I like it. It looks like a pretty cool car. The Falcon Scavenger has also gotten an upgrade, giving it a more of a futuristic look. To top it off, it also has brake lights, same with the Falcon Stallion 350Z. And lastly, the Chevron Camion 2018 has a brand new look as well, with a more of a futuristic look, same with the other vehicle. They have also added some pillar lights right here, and I honestly think this is going to be a pretty cool upgrade for roleplay and some other police experiences. And also, by popular demand, we have a prisoner transport bus for the sheriff and police teams. And basically, they also added this trailer right here. It's going to be the asphalt paver. And I think it looks pretty cool. And you got these new tools right here. You can shovel the asphalt and fix potholes. And honestly, it's honestly a cool job. I actually like it, and it's a pretty cool update. Next on our list is the gas depot. Fuel deliveries have been moved from the gas and go gas stations to the gas depot. Now you can view fuel inventories, uh, levels and everything else like that and see how prices are influenced by each gas station's inventory. And finally, in the private server ELS editor, you can now create patterns with variable brightness intensity. And we want the level to be like 12, for example, for brightness. That would be 12 like that, and the brightness of the uh, ELS will be dimmer, as you can see, like if we do 50% uh, brightness, and we do that. And thank you guys for watching, and make sure to drop a comment and subscribe for more updates and reviews. See you guys in the next video. Alright.